This is the Red Pill Reich. Now, there's a lot of black pill tards out here claiming that, uh, well, women all throughout history were forced to marry men they didn't really want, you know. So what they would do is they would they would cuck their husbands with chads, man. So their husbands were really raising chads' kids. That's why we didn't have a problem with this genics back then. But in modern times, because of the birth control pill, women can fuck Chad now and not get pregnant by Chad and only get pregnant by their husband, and therefore we have dysgenics. Okay, well, this is completely refuted by the studies, because throughout history, men, and you'll, you can see on the background here, and you'll, there will be a link in the description, women were not, not in Europe, not in, East, not in Eurasian countries. Women were not uh, cucking their husbands. It was extremely rare for that shit to happen. So, they were picking guys. And no, women were never, not in European countries, women were never forced to be with guys that they didn't want. Okay, there was never any arranged marriage type shit. That may be in India. So, women were picking the guys they wanted. We didn't have a dysgenic trend problem prior to World War II, okay? These girls were picking the dudes they wanted, and it would have been the quality guys. There was no affirmative action in the in these older days. There was far more discrimination. Okay, anybody born fucked up would have had a hard time. Now, Hell with the Dashboard Life talks about all these gremlins being born and special books for special kids, YouTube channels, where they raise up their kids, these gremlin-looking children, and everybody's praising them in the comments. Oh, what a beautiful thing, and all this shit. That did not exist back then. Back then, any person like that would have had no future other than maybe working in a circus freak show. Okay? So this is fucking horse shit. Now, and, and yes, those are extreme examples. But even without getting into freaks, people that are high mutation loaded, dysgenics, they would not have reproduced. These people would have been held down. And they were. Women were not picking these guys. They were picking the top dudes that actually had by merit. Because in the old days, you didn't get <laughs> educated or any freebies because of anything like affirmative action. You either had it by merit or you didn't have it. So they were hooking up with quality men, good genetics, and they were probably better looking than what we have today. We don't, they, don't have, they didn't have the dysgenic problem back then. Now, today, women still are picking the guys they want. But the guys they're picking are fucking goofballs. That's why we have dysgenics today. And this would have took off somewhere around the end of World War II. Now, guys like Ed Dutton like to talk about how the industrialized age was the problem. And yeah, of course, any all throughout history, any incremental increase in technology would have allowed for more spiteful mutants to be born and survive. But they were still held down and oppressed. These guys weren't reproducing, and they would have had nothing, you know. So, and as Dutton says, more spiteful mutants may have been able to be born when the industrialized age began. But um, he also says that we reached our intellectual peak around 1870 to 1900, which is over 100 years after the industrialized age began. So if we were so inundated with these spiteful mutants, well, how did we reach our intellectual age? The fact is, even though more spiteful mutants could have been born, because of, yeah, any incremental advancement in technology allows for more of them to be born, they were not, uh, they were held down. These people were not doing shit. And the top people were still producing quality things. And, and you know, like he says, we reached our intellectual peak. So this, these people getting positions of power and stuff didn't take over until I'd say after World War II, you know. So a few year, a few decades beyond six decades, probably seven or so, maybe eight. That's when this shit took off with dysgenics and women picking shit guys instead of. And this study shows that women were not picking shit dudes and then cheating on them with Chad. They were just picking quality guys. The only thing they changed is because of this women now are not picking the top guys that's all there is to it and these studies will be in the link below and uh yeah there you go until next time ciao